Same coffee shop. Okay, I got up and took my morning pictures. Now we're at this little diner and apparently everybody in Galveston is at this diner. So we'll see. second to last day kind of sad but we're on a boat in our car it's really weird so we're gonna see how this goes hopefully we don't drown later in the day we're gonna go ride segways on a sunset tour i'm so excited i've always wanted to ride a segway like pole board mall cop and then we're gonna do a ghost tour tonight it's gonna be really fun and that's our day that's all we have planned for right now we chose a pretty relaxing day today. Just kind of driving around, not spending too much money. We weren't originally going to do segways, but we found a sunset one, so we couldn't pass it up. Yeah, we saw the little segway guys uh, going to look at the Christmas lights and we really wanted to do it, so. Instead of Christmas, we're doing a sunset one. <music> Just got off the ferry. Now we're looking at this old naval bunker. Pretty cool little thing. Of course, they have everything chained off so you can't actually go in. But they used to shoot cannons off the top here. Well, looking at that fort was pretty cool. But, of course, every time we get somewhere, there's always a bunch of trash and I get a little upset. So we're leaving that side of the island because it was quite ghetto and there was trash everywhere. So we're going back.
Well, I thought flying the kite was a blast. Heidi apparently thought that was pretty lame. It was pretty cool when she was a kid, but lame for adults to do, I guess, so. Back from the beach, time to get a little snack before we do our segways. We're at the Old Moon Deli. Well, we just ate some pretty good sandwiches at the Old Moon. Definitely a recommendation if you come here. There was a lot of cat decor, so Heidi definitely recommends it. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Slow down. If the stick shape warning persists, come to a stop and safely step off. If the stick shape warning occurs while you are stopped or stuck, step off. <laughs> okay. There you go. <laughs> You go and uh, turn around that black one there, and then head back this way. There you go. You're going to stop when you get to my hand. Make sure you have your stopping down. Turn center your weight down, spin back up straight, so you don't keep going backwards. Fish, back this way. Uh, like uphill, I know it doesn't look like much, but you want to go at it straight. Paul Blor, Mocha. We got back from the Segway tours. That was pretty fun. <laughs> Heidi had a blast. That was my favorite thing the whole trip. It was so fun. We hurried up and got back to the hotel because we were freezing and I had to charge the batteries for the GoPro. But now we're going on a ghost tour. <laughs> it is also going to be freezing because it's an hour and a half long and we're walking. Wish us luck. that though quite a few people have owned this house since then and three of them have dug up this whole yard because they thought they could get famous finding the money nobody's found that money we're on the haunted tour we're on a civil war mass grave and uh some somebody died in here killed people or something dead people we're freaked <laughs> It was just me and Derek and uh, the tour guide. 
and uh, we walked around, saw some cool stuff, but not that scary. I don't know if I believe in ghosts or not. Honestly, the tour was fun. Kind of, kind of fun to hear some history about some of this crazy stuff that's gone on with the killings and stuff like that. But I don't believe in ghosts, so it was just kind of some guy telling me some random history stories and then making it seem like we were supposed to be scared. We did get to pet a cat. An immortal cat. The immortal cat. cat. Apparently has been there forever. And he showed us this video where they took a, a ghost detector thing and put it up to the cat and it was going nuts. So the cat definitely... Uh, definitely haunted cat. Haunted houses, maybe not. Overall, it was fun to do, fun to experience. Galveston is apparently haunted, but... It was just random stories from this guy. Thinking about ghosts that got me hungry. Hungry for some Mexican food. Mexican food was good. Back to the hot tub. This has definitely been our favorite part of this hotel. For sure. Hot tub in night. Number five. Seven. What's the day? We've not been here for seven days. <laughs> creepy guy he was nice but he definitely looks like the guy that believes in ghosts 